was at uh, State Street and 87th Street and see me come in my struggle buggy. <laughs> me look a red guy. Yeah. No heat, no harm, no, no heat, no cold, no air condition in it. And I drive me. And if somebody come at church and say, No! I have to be telling that to fast. And then give me a Lincoln Continental. And the air condition is still working. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And the church is going strong. They buy me a car, the church is going strong. And let me tell you something. The ambassador loves this church more is even his own church. And he says to me, some months ago, from last year, he said, I'm going to help this church to be known all over the world. Because what you got here, the world needs to hear. And so we have in the Jamaica Day again. Independence over here again. And August the 6th. And the Sunday. People in Jamaica are so excited over here. My family. My family. Oh, man. I never knew you do such a good job. Well, what I mean, the Lord. I'm just a obedient child. Doing what the Lord has me to do. And if you do the same, this ministry will be what it's supposed to be. It depends on you to make your move. I'm doing my thing, so you come. Oh God, where was I? Yes, sir. To the hills. God will bless you yes. when you do what God says. Because you send them perfect gift down to you. Amen. And when the gift comes to you, you are able to use it to bless others. Yes, mm. yes, true. Amen. Because they care yes, he does. for you. Yes, yes. He needs a slumber. Now sleep. All right. He does what he says. He will do. Yes. He is God of his word. Yes, he is. Yeah. He can't lie. No. No, cannot lie. Why? Because he is the truth. Yes. Glory to his name. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Sometimes men mean a lot by the things they say to you. They says, think to you that I will do this for you. And they really mean it. They really mean to, to do good. But what they say sometimes, situations cause them to forget. And can't live up to what they say. I said, men, mean well. And they say, I will help you. And they really mean it. But when the time comes, sometimes situation causes them to say, I can't do it. Uh -oh. But God, he's like man. Anything you say, he does. Nothing is too hard for him to do. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Oh God. This verse of scripture shows God as a guardian. One who never slumber and neglect to live by his word. One who never neglect you. He'll never be a, a deadbeat father. I say God will never be a, a deadbeat father. Somebody says, and let me tell you, leader, in that Tasper and Dona. Oh God! Did I say that? Yes, All right, praise the Lord. Let me lift up because 
Oh God, this is something else. With God is your father, is your father. And then prove himself that he's your father. A lot of father. Only father is a child. And then you'll see him again. You know when you see him? When a child comes to something good. That's my child. Never think about you all these years. Here you go, a university, you come out, a doctor, and now you want to warn you. He better go back where he was. Anyway, you need to love him anyway. Because mm. God says should. But God knows it hard. It's hard, but do it anyway, all right? Because we put Christ in, nothing is too hard for God. All right, Christ makes a difference. Amen. Nothing is too hard for God to do. He never will forsake his children. No, never did. Never did. So we see God as a guardian. Yes. One who never does up while he's on the watch. He never does up. He never lie down, man. He, he never slumber nor sleep. No wonder the songwriter, my heavenly father, watches over me. He watches over natural Israel. And he watches over spiritual Israel. And that's what my father watches over me. The Lord guarantee in your slumber and sleep. Tell your neighbors that God won't even doze off. He just keep on watching over you. Listen. <laughs> He's conscious. There's a one we call Alexander the Great who captured the entire world. One night he says to his troops, Go to sleep, I am awake. I am watching over you guys while you're sleeping. He said, Watch over you while you're sleeping. Giving them a break, yeah. <laughs> when we no longer conscious of the world around us, hmm? me, you are dead, dead to the cares of the world. I know there's one no greater than Alexander the Great, one who watches over us with a constant and weary care. We have a God who never fails. I said we have a God who never fails. Oh, praise his holy name. We have a God who watches over us both day and night. We have a God who loves everybody. And he makes love everybody. We have a God who never sleeps. We have a God that stay on the watch all the time. We have a God who is always conscious. We have a God who never get weary, never get drunk. Praise the Lord. We have a God who never fail. He never fail me yet. He always provides for me. He provides for his own. We have a God who live for his children. We have a God mm. who lives in his children. We have a God that lives by his word. We have a God who never returned, who would never return to him and say, I'm sorry, I couldn't live up to what you say. 
Praise the Lord. I said we have a God who always watches over us. But when you send his word out, his word went out and does what he said. Never come back and say, I'm sorry. I couldn't live up to what you said. Praise the Lord. In Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. And verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish what which I please, and it shall prosper in the things thereof I sent him. God's words never fail. Are you still here? Take the mask off, saints. So you can see. Let us take the blinders off. So we can clearly see above the hills. Tell me if I can see clearly now. I can see clearly now. I'm looking over the hills. And the Bible says in chapter 3 of Psalms. Psalms chapter 3. It make it known. Praise the Lord. This sounds is it's here. I know it's here. <coughs> Psalms chapter three. From one to three. Lord, how are they that increase that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which says, say of my soul, there is no help for him in him. There is no help for him in God. And it's here with after. With a pause. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory and the lift up of my head. I cry unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Hey, Lord, yes. I didn't go too far, then I'm not supposed to go, but that's all right. But the Lord God, the shield from me, is my glory, and he's the lift up of my head. Because I cry unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me. Oh, Jesus, out of his holy hill. You know what? Sit down and wait on that brazen serpent. Because you're going to wait for the rest of your life and not get nothing. But call on the Lord, and he'll answer you out of Zion. Now, for me to use this, I can't do what I, I want you to get. I need to take it out of context a little bit. Well, let me tell you what this verse says. With their eyes looking upward to heaven, straining for some sight of divine intervention, some divine mercies, the captive plead with the Lord to end their dark nights of persecution. Even one time, this is by the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down, there we wept, and remember Zion. Why you remember Zion? You remember how the, the temple was so beautiful? No, you, you're out in dry, dry land. And you called upon me to sing your song in a strange land? How can I sing? The Lord saw in a strange land. When you're in a sin, you can't sing God's song. Because you're not strange. You're not strange land. When Satan got your bound, you can't sing the Lord's song. If you sing it, you're singing to Satan. Yes, yes, yes. 
for the crown to the Lord. His will. Crown to the Lord. Dark nights of persecution open them at a time. And this is by the rivers of Babylon. His will sat down and wept when they remember Zion. Uh, Israel, when they remember Israel. When they think of the, the marble temple and the freedom to worship. And here we are in a land captured by the enemy. Then those who capture them wanted to sing song. And so they asked the question, how can we sing? A stranger, a lot of a stranger. How can we sing when there is no joy, no freedom? How can we sing the Lord's song? How can we sing where, where there is no joy? No peace. But then I found a great encouragement in Psalms 119 and 169. Psalms 119, 169. Let me cry. Let my cry come near before the